Welcome to Illustrate to Educate. Please subscribe and ring the bell for more simple and objective videos on topics that matter. Have you ever wondered where Easter came from? In this video, we'll cover everything you need to know about the holiday. The origins of Easter can be traced back to ancient pagan rituals that celebrated the arrival of spring. The spring equinox marks the beginning of the season of fertility and growth, which was celebrated by many cultures. The ancient Egyptians, for example, celebrated the return of their sun god Ra from the dead, while the Persians celebrated their new year known as Noruz. The word Easter itself may have come from the Old English word Yoster, the name of the pagan goddess associated with spring and fertility. However, this is not a universally accepted theory among scholars. It was in the early Christian church that the Easter holiday took on its current form. Easter is a celebration of the resurrection of Jesus Christ which occurred after his crucifixion on Good Friday. According to the Bible, Jesus rose from the dead on the third day after his death, which is now celebrated as Easter Sunday. Today, Easter is celebrated around the world with many traditions. One of the most popular traditions is the Easter egg. The egg has long been a symbol of fertility and new life, and in many cultures, it is believed to represent the resurrection of Jesus. The practice of decorating eggs dates back to ancient times, but it is the Christians who first used eggs to symbolize the resurrection. Another popular Easter symbol is the Easter Bunny. The Easter Bunny is believed to have originated in Germany, where it was known as the Osterhause. According to German folklore, the Easter Bunny would lay brightly colored eggs in nests made by children, thus leading to the tradition of Easter egg hunts. This tradition has since spread to many other parts of the world. What traditions do you celebrate on Easter? Don't forget to like the video and share this video to support more simple and objective videos on topics that matter. If you haven't already, please subscribe to Illustrate to Educate and check out some of my other videos to the right.